Hello my beloved, last week we learned about the first seal and the first horse and we learned that the horse was a church and the rider or leader of this white horse was none other than Jesus Christ himself. Now let's study the second horse. The book of Revelation chapter 6 verses 3 and 4 says, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Notice how things are starting to change in the church. The horse is no longer white. It is now red, which means Jesus is no longer leading this church. Another spirit is leading it. So what does red represent? The book of Isaiah in chapter 1 and verse 18 says, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Red is in fact the color of sin. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. What law? God's law. So there are lawbreakers currently leading this church. Now via the Holy Spirit, Paul knew that this time would come after he has departed. The book of Acts chapter 20 and verses 29 through 30 tells us, for I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. God knew that evil would begin to overtake God's church and his people. This was part of the falling away that Paul mentions in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 stating, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. The man of sin here is represented by the papacy which came into power after the falling away. Even in Paul's time, Paul noticed all kinds of errors creeping their way into the church, which would prepare the way for the development for the papacy. And Paul wrote also in verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Now notice how the rider of this horse was given power to take peace from the earth. When the gospel is preached to someone, it brings conviction. And when they reject the gospel, it leads to a guilty and disturbed conscience. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 42 says, There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. And that's how the rider takes peace from the earth by so many people rejecting the gospel and notice this rider having a sword in his hand and they shall kill one another but it isn't the rider that does the killing the rider is just holding a sword as a representation of the death that's taking place at this time and the ones who are killing are the wicked persecuting the christians the book of Matthew chapter 10 verses 34 to 36 says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Those who reject the gospel inevitably persecute those preaching the gospel in some way, shape, or form. That's because Satan hates God and his people. 
At this time, the papacy would occasionally persecute Christians. But this was just the beginning. These things get much worse for God's people. And we will have to wait until next time to find out. Until then, this is John Tinsley with Everlasting Rock Ministries. And always remember, the truth never fails. God bless you.